everybody, this is Review Crew. I'm here to do a video about my new spring traps costume that I'm giving. And I'm also going to do a little critique about that other one that I looked at. I've seen a video about a kid doing a review on it. And the thing is that it's okay, but uh, not too happy with our scene. Uh, my spring trap suit I'm getting. Well, it's not a suit. It's just a head, hands, and feet. But it's still better, better than nothing. Uh, the spring trap partial I'm getting is very awesome. Um, it's a very detailed facility. They went all out on it. Um, they did detailing, his, his teeth, all that. I don't know, I don't know how his, um, how his hands look yet, but I know how his feet look and his, um, face looks. But, um, I haven't, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think. I haven't gotten to see what his hands look like yet. But I've seen what his uh, feet and his head looks like, and it's looking really awesome so far. And um, this other spring trap suit I'm talking about, or the other spring trap park. Uh, I mean, it's okay for the most part. I'm sorry, I just it's like 6 a.m. in the morning. But the thing is that um, uh, let's see. The most part about it is that the other one I looked at is okay, but it's not it's not as accurate as the one I'm getting right now. I'm glad I only paid like 57 bucks for it. Not really 57 bucks. I don't know. That's not exactly how much I paid for it. But, um, but the... It's actually really cool the fact of the matter that I'm getting a Springtrap partial. Um, I love Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's. He's always been my favorite. Um, but the uh, the costume I'm getting is a really nice one. I'll show you the other one I'm talking about that's kind of crappy. Well, not exactly crappy. It's okay, but it's not. Like it's not it doesn't look anything like the actual spring trap. Face time. No, I'm doing a video for YouTube. And the thing is that um uh, let's see. Uh, what's the job gets done with uh, making them? And they'll send them out to me. And once I get him, I'll do a review on Springtrap. And so on and so forth. But um, I just wanted to let y'all know that's what's happening right now. I'm waiting on it to be made. He's just about finished. The only thing left is... is it's, his head's already done. The only thing that needs to be made is his uh, hands. And they need to put a little more detail on his feet. But other than that, he's pretty much about finished. Let's just say, ladies and gentlemen, the spring trap head itself is going to look pretty accurate to the video game. Also, that the eyelids are actually going to be able to move up and down, which also can give the fact. Well, actually, the no. They had to glue them on because they couldn't figure out how to do that. So, okay. spring trap's pretty much stuck in a neutral, like you know, like when you see him when he's staring in the hallway, looking through the door, you just see him with his eye, his eyes halfway shut. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm pretty sure you haven't seen me in a while. Sadly, me and Review Crew can't really do videos like we used to anymore because we don't live at the same house anymore. And well, it's not that. We actually work most of the time. Yeah. Well, guys, when he says to look forward for this spring trap head, I am willing to bet you it would be the coolest thing that you ever see. Because when I saw it, I thought it was amazing. And it's pretty massive because of the seller. I will show you pictures. The seller actually showed me the spring trap head on his body. 
Godzilla was actually a girl making it. But. Let's just say it's about the size of a dead moss five head. Yeah, which basically is accurate because the spring lock costume. Spring lock suit was actually big it was actually big on the big guy, on the purple guy because in the series in the game series the head was pretty massive because they're animatronic suits with a human inside of it. Yeah. So it makes a lot of sense. And if you guys are wondering, is the spring trap head going to completely open like in the games? No, it will not. Well, I don't know if it will yet. She well, said that, we're not absolutely sure. But um, we'll see when I get it. But if it doesn't open up, it, really, it doesn't bother me. Because the, uh, the whole purpose of it is like to get a spring trap costume to cosplay in. So um, and then I might later on get the rest of his body. I don't know. Might, yeah. I might just get his arms and legs and then get his, um, his torso later on and his uh, crotch. But um, but yeah, I got a spring, uh, spring trap uh, partial. You want to say anything? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Also, we want to thank you guys for all your love and support to this channel. We know it's been a hard time for a lot of people out there in the world with all the weather conditions and everything. But we love how you guys have been able to stay tuned, stay channeled in, looking at the new videos that Review Crew has put out for you guys. And me and Review Crew... Yeah. Review Crew. Review Crew. Review Crew. Review Crew. It sounds like you're trying to call me Count Dooku. Not this time, Dooku. But anyway. But anyway, guys. I know that. Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's not wrong. Obi-Wan Kenobi. I literally look like Obi-Wan Kenobi. But anyway, <laughs> hope you guys are looking forward to the spring trap pack because we know surely that we are. We're excited for it and I'm excited for it. I'm mostly excited because spring trap's my favorite animatronic. I'm glad I'm actually getting a spring trap head and hands. I don't know how big the hands are going to be, but... The hands are probably going to be massive. The feet are massive on him already. So is his head. Oh, so. guys. Also, if you guys want to put down in the comments below if I should get the uh, Foxy costume commissioned, let me know what you guys think. That way, And do. Radio, I know you're going to put yes because you're a FNAF fan and I know you're, your first dude is a FNAF animatronic. Yes, as a matter of fact. Shout out and to I'm, I'm serious. His, his first dude is literally an animatronic. I know it is. But yeah, shout out to you, Radio. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for being friends with my brother. My brother's actually a really cool guy to get to know. And he's very creative with most of the things that he does in his life. Thank you guys for your love and support. Hey, uh, this channel is like mostly for reviews, music yeah. videos, stuff like that.